so this project is based upon the speed control technique of dc machine using h bridge inverter so the important blocks that we have used the first one you can see is the dc machine which we have already implemented for the speed control of dc machine using chopper so it implements a wound field or permanent magnet dc machine then we have used a mosfet block mosfet an internal diode in parallel with a series rc snubber circuit when a gate signal is applied the mosfet conducts and acts as a resistance in both directions if the gate signal falls to zero when current is negative current is transferred to the anti parallel diode for most applications l on should be set to zero then we have used a basic dc voltage source block which will provide the dc voltage supply to our h bridge inverter and to the field windings of dc machine then we have used a circular gauge which will display input value that is the revolutions per minute indication of the speed of our dc machine on a customized gauge then we have used some commonly used blocks first of all we have used a sawtooth generator in which we have output in various wave forms and output y of t is in the is the function of amplitude and wave form and we have to specify the amplitude value and the frequency with which the sawtooth wave is to be generated then we have used a modulus function that is y is equals to mod of u then we have used the block compare to zero which determines how a signal can be compared to zero and accordingly it will provide its output then we have used a not block for a single input operators are applied across the input vector for multiple inputs operators are applied across the inputs then we have used a slider gain block in which we can move the slider to modify the scalar value for controlling the speed of dc machine so let us move forward and begin our today's simulation project based on the speed control of dc machine using h bridge inverter put off the gain such that your rpm output is connected here so apply it and then okay now this uh, gain i am changing it to rpm the name i have changed to rpm you can show the block name also so the circular gauge name we are changing it to rpm rpm already exists it is saying so you can change it to speed rpm speed in rpm speed rpm that also already exists. so in the display it is already existing the display name is speed rpm it is not that much necessary uh, you just know that uh, this one you can hide the block name that this one is will be showing the actual speed in rpm so now let us run the model and the simulation time the stop time is 30 seconds here so okay so one error is there so dc inside the dc machine we have one error Fail to evaluate mass initialization commands. Okay, so I think we have not included power GUI block. So I am taking one power GUI block. Now I am going to run this model. And uh, you can see. You can see we have fixed the slider gain value to 300. That's why needle is at maximum value only that is 300. And if you go on to the scoop block. After certain deviation, the speed is controlled at around 300 rpm as we can see. Armature current and electrical torque, they are very much similar because you all know in case of DC machine, they are proportional. There is separate field winding, that's why flux is constant. T is directly proportional to phi A. So flux is constant. So torque is directly proportional to 
I only that is armature current. Then that's why the plots are very much similar and the speed we have controlled very soon at around 0.04 seconds at around 0.1 seconds only we have reached that speed with the deviations with the initial deviations now what we are going to do is uh, we will change the slider gain values so now you can see i am changing the slider gain values and the rpm indication is also changing accordingly and the display values are also changing accordingly now if you go into the scope block you can see how the speed is being controlled so our controller is working very fast it is uh, reaching the required speed within very few fraction of seconds so these are the wherever you are saying this deviation and constant there we have changed the values of speed from slider gain this one is a field current graph and the armature current is also varying and torque is also varying as we are increasing and decreasing the slider gain values so our control is, controller is working properly if you change the values abruptly also the controller is responding properly so if you now see the scope block of this that is our you can go on the legend so the first plot is showing us the values of PID controller and uh, the PID controller and the yellow one is uh, the saw is the modulus function output that is ABS and the second plot is showing us the value of signal after this add block so you can now save this model